Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to put together a snowboard ski rack on a Tesla Model X. So the first step in putting together the snowboard ski rack is putting together the Tesla hitch rack. So the hitch rack is actually a bike rack. It's the adapter piece that we're going to put later on that actually holds the skis and snowboards in place. So it has two levers here. The one in the front is the part that actually opens up the towing part. Just make sure when you open it that it latches on. The device is about 40 pounds, so just make sure you have somebody able to help you. Uh, this knob here is the part that, to the, that tightens or loosens the part in the tow hitch. So when you turn the knob to the left, it actually loosens this. And when you turn it to the right, physically starts to pull this down, which tightens into the tow hitch. So just make sure when you're ready to install it that you move this part forward. If not, it's going to get in the way. Also, if you notice this little great piece here, it moves this in. The purpose for that, it locks it in as a safety feature to make sure if it starts pulling out for whatever reason, you're able to lock it into place. So move that forward, put it through. You see it, it's like a safety mechanism. So we're gonna go ahead and just push all the way through as far as you can. There you go. So now that's in. You guys come over this way. Just turn it to the right. And just turn it as far as you can until you can't no more. All right, that's tight enough. So make sure that as you're tightening it, you're also moving the equipment up and down, back and forth, just to get it tighter, just to get that momentum going as if the snowboards and skis were on there. Once you have it as tight as it can be, go ahead and lock it into place. You'll know it's locked whenever you can truly move this around. So this lever at the top right here, it actually opens up the bike rack. Make sure it locks into place. The bike rack actually holds up to about four bikes. The same lever would open up the tow hitch area down below. You wanna make sure that you adjust it because it also allows it to go forward. The reason for that is because it physically, when you, see if you were to close the trunk, it would definitely hit, so. Just make sure you're aware and able to utilize that. So the next part that we're going to attach is the physical ski rack adapter. And that's going to be the hardest part to actually put on. Well, put together. Putting it on is actually really easy. It's just the assembly part. All right, so this is the adapter piece in the box. We're just going to go ahead and take it out. We're going to go ahead and set it up. Just make sure you guys have a good pair of scissors or a knife on you because these zip ties that are holding the piece together are actually pretty hard. All right, so the first thing we want to look at with these is where the snowboards go in. So the snowboard bottom would go in through here and then this, notice how it inverts. The great part here with the key, don't forget to put these in a safe spot. So if you notice here, it opens and closes. This is how you lock the snowboard into place. So this is the right side and this one here is the left side. So same thing, you'll turn this over and then one of the other things you want to look at is, so there's two small rods and then there's a, a longer one with the center piece here. The smaller rods go up top. Notice that one of them has the Tesla logo. So you want to put that one first because that's what will be seen from the, the drivers in the back. So then the longer rod 
there's a flat piece and there's a regular side here and you just want to make sure the flat end is facing well towards me and then just make sure these two ends are facing upwards uh, so you just insert this part here So we'll start bolting into place, but it should look something like this. All right, so there's four long screws, two of these ones, and then two small ones. The four long ones go into these slots right up here. So one goes in here, second one goes Alright you guys, so this is it. It's a snowboard ski rack. It's ready to go on the Tesla Model X. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on and see how it fits. So this here is the actual assembled adapter. This is the part that physically holds the snowboards and the skis together. It's pretty simple once you uh, assembled it. You just mount it on the bike rack. You push it back. You line the piece here with the bar in the back. And then this here, you want to move those bars as well. It does have a lock once you lined it up. It locks into place so it doesn't move. Once those are lined up, you want to use these screws here to actually put it together. So this screw goes into here. This part goes back here. And then you use the screws to lock it into place. So you can also use that Allen wrench once you've tightened these to make them as tight as possible. Once those are tight, you want to use these bands here to lock these bars into place. Keep in mind that the rack does move sometimes. So you can readjust these as needed once you have everything where it needs to be you go ahead and make your final tightenings of course make it tighter than that but this is just for example purposes this here is the part that opens and closes that you lock into place i'm gonna go ahead and grab some snowboards mount them on here so we can see what it looks like so i'm just grabbing two snowboards make sure the bindings are attached if you're mounting the snowboards onto the rack without the bindings they'll slide right off so first you open this part here you make sure that the binding is just above this foam part here line it up and then lock it up. The second way you can mount the snowboards is just putting them back to back with the bottoms facing each other. Same thing, just line the binding up 
with the foam part. Before taking off, we also want to go ahead and talk about suspension. You don't want to pull out of your driveway without lifting the car. If not, the tow hitch will definitely hit it. So just make sure as you're getting ready to drive off, you, um, you close all the doors. The car won't lift until everything's closed. So anyway, hit the little logo. You go to suspension. And then you're going to go ahead and hit very high, either high or very high, whichever one works for you. And just give it a few minutes to lift. Thank you.